Hi, this is Lay with Crash Test Hobby, showing you how to put LEDs in your plane and also how to put uh, colored tape on the plane in a way that uh, enhances the LEDs. This makes your plane look great and it also makes it so you can take a plane you normally would only fly in the day and you would be able to fly it at night. The tape I'm using is lightweight, two inch packing tape. You can buy it at a variety of sources online. I, I have tried to find the thinnest tape I can so the light will shine through it and it won't be so opaque and block light. As you can see, it only takes a few minutes to make a white plane look great. The tape is inexpensive and easy to repair. This is a strip of 60 bulbs of LED white lights. In the middle of this set there is a connection point where you can solder, cut the set and then solder it into two different directions. If you know what you're doing you can cut the sets down even more than this. But I have a harness that I'm going to solder onto these two halves of the set so that I'll have one in the right wing and one in the left. As you can see, my soldering iron is in a vise, so I have two hands to work with it. I removed the wires which come with the set, and I'm soldering into the harness I made so that all my lights will be supplied by the same power source. Here is 30 lights. They're really bright, and uh, that's one half of the set that will be on this plane. Going back to the soldering iron, I am soldering the red wire to the positive black wire to the negative. You'll find that many of these sets, sets come with a different color wire for the positive. That usually is an indicator as to what color the lights are. Now that I've got them soldered, let's see. Yep, both sets work. I used a plug from a charging, charging extension to build this uh, plug for the LED lights. There are other harnesses which are available through different suppliers that come already set up. I'm using a razor blade and I'm slip making a cut all the way through the laminate and in through the extreme tape. And now I'm using a soldering iron to open that up. Depending on the light set you've got, some of the bulbs are wide enough you have to go down twice and move the ruler a little bit to make the slot wide enough for the bulbs to fit entirely in the wing. The goal is, is that the backing to the bulbs is going to lay perfectly flat on the wing and not disrupt any airflow over the lights. You will find that uh, putting just bulbs along the top of the wing can really reduce the glide and the performance of your airplane. So do your best to not have an obstruction in the airflow over your wing. This particular wing has a spar right through the middle and that's right where that bulb lines up so I need to scoot the set one way or the other in order to make it so it doesn't hit that spar. You'll also notice I just poked the plug up through the slot I used for the velcro strap and it comes up through the battery where it's going to plug in. Now using scotch tape, I secure the light strip in place. What I didn't show you already is the uh, removal of the backing for these. This is an adhesive back light strip that you can stick onto the top of something. It sticks fairly well to the laminate, but it makes the bulbs poke up and cause airflow disruption. As you can see, I'm trying to get it so the bulb and the resistors are not hitting the spar. And once it's in place, I take a strip of two inch heavy duty uh, clear tape and put over the lights. I've done this for years and rarely have any bulb damage. Now let's test and just make sure that everything's working. Yep, and you can see how the light comes through the purple tape. If you use a colored light and put it under purple tape, it won't shine through, but white light shines through every color. Some of the heavier tapes, even the lighter colors, don't shine through, so you want thin, thin colored tape if you're going to use this method. Doing the same thing on the other side. Figure out where that spar is and then put the bulbs down into that slot I cut and just secure them until I can get the heavy duty tape in over the top. 
The LED lights don't use much power. I'm only going to put one strip on this plane because this will be a plane I fly both day and night and will probably get a lot of use. But there are some flyers who have specific night planes and I've seen planes with over eight strips of 60 bulbs of lights on the individual plane. And putting the heavy duty tape over the top to protect the lights. Now I'm going to put some heavy duty tape over the wires and also over the bottom of the battery case just to protect the plane so that uh, it's more durable and I don't have damage or water shorting out the lights. And you can see how bright this is. The, this plane is as bright as the moon in the sky. The only disadvantage of putting lights in like this is if the plane is flying directly away from you, it's hard to see from the back of the plane. So you learn to fly keeping the plane so that it, the side of it's towards you. Now on the bottom, if you want to add some color, you can also put some colored tape over some of the lights on the bottom. Uh, yellow and orange are more uh, visible than the red is in this particular case, but where I'm using red as one of my base colors, I went with this. But uh, still, at night, that red is very visible from a very long distance. Now, one of the other things is making your plane easy to see in the day. I have learned that orange and red stand out really good against the blue sky, but blue and black and other dark colors around the outside edge of the wing make it so that the plane is difficult to see. So you, uh, I'm putting this color on just for visibility while I do aerobatics and to help me with orientation. On the bottom of my planes, I like to put uh, strips of color from side to side as you're seeing here. And on the tops, I tend to put front to back or patterns that uh, the bottom of the planes help me to stay oriented where I fly so many different planes. Thanks for watching, and we hope you enjoy night flying as much as I do.